Ayanna Webster Roy, Minister in the Office of the Prime Minister, leading the Gender and Child Affairs Unit, and MP for Tobago East, has announced that the Survivor Transformation and Empowerment Program will be launched soon. She made the announcement at the Women's Entrepreneurial Development and Product Expo Women's Village, held at the Scarborough Esplanade yesterday, and Ariana Scipio has the details. Minister Ayanna Webster-Roy said STEP is one of the many initiatives the ministry will launch and she is optimistic that it will positively impact citizens across the country. STEP provides an opportunity for not only civil society organizations, faith-based organizations to come together to assist women and men who are vulnerable, but it also provides an opportunity for survivors and victims of gender-based violence to get the support from the state to help them to progress, to help them to emerge better from their situation. She said STEP would also help people become meaningful contributors to society and assist in the development of the nation. Moreover, under STEP, organizations can receive grant funding of up to $50,000. $50,000 to train at least 10, 10 persons to give them the opportunity to be able to learn a skill, something geared towards their economic empowerment. And STEP goes beyond that by providing an opportunity for survivors and victims to receive grant funding up to $10,000. Minister Webster Roy explained that the $10,000 grant funding that survivors can receive is geared towards helping them access vocational training, enhance existing businesses or established businesses. Meanwhile, Minister Webster Roy also spoke about the National Strategic Action Plan on ending gender-based and sexual violence in Trinidad and Tobago. This plan meant the coming together of various sectors and courses and interest groups towards setting up a strategy, a workable strategy towards eradicating gender-based violence in our society. It meant the coming together of not only government agencies and government partners, but also our international development partners, the private sector, civil society organizations, and faith-based organizations. She said this plan clearly outlines where each agency must lead and where each interest must be placed. The minister said that it gives citizens the power to hold these agencies and individuals accountable, ensuring that they are meeting their targets. Ariana Scipio, Tobago Updates Television News.